Fountain Square, the center of downtown, a place where we all come together to celebrate or just have some lunch. And at the center of Fountain Square, the Tyler Davidson Fountain. It turns 140 years old today. As Rob Braun explains, the fountain is an icon that has a rich heritage. It's so Cincinnati. It's iconic to Cincinnati and um, uh, it's, a, you know, it's a beautiful piece of art in itself. Artist Tom Post took advantage of the sunny day to come to downtown Cincinnati from Reading so he could capture the beauty of the genius of water. The bronze woman with outstretched hands is the city's symbol and one of our most visited attractions. Whether it's on canvas or with modern digital cameras, the fountain's beauty draws us into the square. But it wasn't always this way in Cincinnati. In fact, in the middle of the 19th century, that section of 5th Street was home to a marketplace that didn't have the the best reputation. Fountain Square was born after the Civil War, and the inspiration came from an unexpected place. Local businessman Henry Probasco found sketches for a fountain at the Royal Foundry in Bavaria. Those became the basis for the Tyler Davidson Fountain. That is so familiar. Probasco's gift to all of us was dedicated on October 7th, 1871. The next important chapter for the square came after World War II. America was all about car culture then, so city planners decided to make Fifth Street one way to accommodate traffic. Plans were also made to put the parking garage under the square. After the fountain was moved and rotated to face Vine Street, the redesigned plaza opened in October of 1971 to rave reviews. Probably the best public square in the country. But there were more changes to come for the square. A $42 million improvement project saw the fountain moved 100 feet north, along with the addition of more trees on the square. That was finished in October of 2006, and it is the square we know today. Whether it's a chance to hang out on a warm autumn day or ring in the holidays on a cold night, the beauty of the Tyler Davidson Fountain keeps bringing generations downtown. Its heritage as the center of social life in Cincinnati is going strong into the 21st century, and that makes Fountain Square so Cincinnati. I love it, uh, but just like I said, it's the first time I ever painted it myself, uh, just because, uh, you know, it's, you, get, you get busy lives and you just forget about it. Rob Braun, Local 12 News. Local 12's historian Dan Hurley tells us at the Fountain dedication in 1871, the bleachers collapsed, sending members of city council tumbling to the ground. On Fridays, we bring you stories about the people, places, and things that are so Cincinnati, and we want to hear what you'd like to see. Visit us at local12.com or check out our Local 12 page on Facebook. You can tell us what you think is so Cincinnati.